Welcome back, Unpeelers. I'm Paul Mancano, and today I have the pleasure of sitting down with Kelsey Davis, who is the founder, CEO, all that good stuff of The Creative, or The Collective, rather, a very creative content website. First off, gotta ask, you're from Atlanta. I am. You have your own, that city has its own TV show now. How do you do. feel about it? Oh my gosh, it's like the best thing that ever happened <laughs> to Atlanta. It's great, because I actually, growing up, listened to Childish Gambino or Donald Glover, um, mm -hmm. seeing him writing on 30 Rock. Yeah. Um, it's just been incredible to see him now give something back to the city that's so amazing and also so successful. Um, right now, you saw him at the Golden Globes. Migos, also, uh, from Atlanta, got mm -hmm. that great shout out. And so, it's just, it's a great time for Atlanta. We're also in the Super Bowl now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is just, yeah, it's, it's a great time for us nice. right now. Awesome. Great. All right. So let's talk about the collective. Mm -hmm. First off, how did this start? You started this at such a young age. Mm -hmm. What kind of got you into this and, and how did it become what it is today? Yeah, so this actually started in the basement of BBB, really? um, like most great things do. <laughs> yeah, really. um, but yeah, it was me, uh -huh. two of my friends, Cole Smith and Kenny Buckner. Um, and we really just wanted to figure out how we can do what we love um, and what we want to do as a career now. Uh, a lot of times we hear professors talking about, okay, do X, Y, and Z, you mm -hmm. know, internship, things like that. But it's like, we're here, we're around like-minded people, we should be able to start that process now. And so we just sat down, brainstormed, and, and, and figured out what we wanted to do. Obviously, it didn't start as what it is now, but um, just through different ideas, through trials, errors, it, it became what it is today. And something that I think is so great about the collective and something that I think you guys pride yourself in mm -hmm. is it's so many different people with so many different talents. Right. Um, what's it like having all those talented, multi-talented people all together? I think more than anything, it's inspiring. Um, it's it's more, um, I don't know, it's great being around, like I said, like-minded people and people that just have these brilliant ideas. It's like, okay, well, I'm good at this, you know, I'm good at video production, I'm good at, you know, working with a client, branding strategy, but, you know, somebody else is great at animation and somebody else is great at photography, and it's just really cool seeing how you know, we're people of yes ands, um, especially when working with clients, like, okay, yeah, like, let's do this, but then somebody else may bring something great to the table. And so I think it's motivating, it's inspiring being around like-minded people. Speaking of talents, you have many talents. <laughs> what would you consider your favorite or best talent? that you bring to the table? Uh, I think one, just ideas. Um, I think the team is great and they, they bring great content, but I would say ideas, and I love video production. Mm -hmm. um, video production, I've been doing it for around four years now, um, and it's just, it's great being able to drive down the street and see something and be inspired and be able to full that, see that full uh, fruition of that project um, and actually being able to watch it on the screen, which awesome. is really awesome. And not only do you run the website, but you're also a student on the side. I am. <laughs> a, a major in Newhouse. How do you balance both being a student and running this enormous project? Sometimes you don't. Um, <laughs> and, and I think that's just being honest and genuine. Sometimes you don't. Um, but fortunately, I have mentors and friends and people uh, whom really hold me down through everything. Um, I. I if it were up to me, I would probably not, maybe not be in school right now. I would maybe, you know, I don't <laughs> know. Be a nice my friends, to have. my yeah. friends really, really keep me grounded. Um, today, for example, like we have an event that we're hosting on Friday. Um, I have a, a project to a client uh, that's worth almost as much money as I'm paying to be here right now. <laughs> um, and I, I started on it today, but we won't tell them. Um, mm -hmm. and, and then also, I'm in class, right? And so a lot of times it's hard to juggle. And, you know, yeah. I'll have a friend that's like, yo, like, you know, let me relieve this. I'll do this for you, you know, whatever, and, and, and likewise. So sometimes you don't. Um, sometimes you have to figure out, okay, today, I was just talking to my friend about this. Today, this is going to be the priority today. Right. Like, today, I need to focus on this. Um, you know, I have an exam tomorrow. I need to shut down everything else and focus on that exam. Right. And so really, it's my friends um, and my mentors that really keep me accountable. Gotcha. And you guys have some pretty have had some pretty incredible clients. Who would you yeah. consider some of the the biggest and best that you've worked with? So I always give Coke uh, like the big the big title. Um, <laughs> That's uh, kind worked, of a big one. Yeah, we worked with Coke nice. Music, uh, which uh -huh. is really cool actually. Oh, wow. So I don't know if you, there's this new artist named Black mm -hmm. um, who who is coming out of Atlanta recently. Um, so Love Renaissance is the team like the label that he works with. Um, they're signed to Columbia, and I grew up with Rory and Black and, and that whole team in Atlanta. And so when they saw me, I, the their director of media, who used to just be their like camera guy who would follow them around, we actually went to high school together. And so when he saw me go to Syracuse my freshman year, he saw everything that I started to do. Um, we, you know, started working on the collective. Um, when I came back, he has a festival called Roarfest, where he hosts Roarfest in Atlanta, and they needed a videographer. 
and so he called me and I was like, yeah, sure, like, you know, I'd love to do that. And, um, and it was free, like, it was just like a little gig, whatever. And then a week before Roar Fest, they got sponsored by Coca-Cola and Coke picked up that project. And no so, big deal. yeah, I was literally at the gym and I was like, what? Okay, yeah. So I went and met with him. Uh, we sat down with like a Coca-Cola exec and he was just like, all right, this is what we need. And I'm like, all right, I got you. That's, that's <laughs> um, pretty incredible. So that was great. Coke uh, Music, um, the YMCA, Sky Zone. Uh, we did a project with Vans. Wow. So, that's that's yeah. incredible. So the yeah. company is The Collective. Where can we find you online? You can find us at uh, www www.thecollective.com. And it's spelled C-L-L-C-T-V-E. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, or at The Collective on all social media sites. Awesome. Great. So that's where you can find them online. Coming up after the break, we're going to be playing a fun game while we have Kelsey here. Stick around on Peelers.